Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and this is a Project Life process video using products from Citrus Twist Kits. And I always like to put my journaling cards together. Once I use most of a kit, they go to a big pile and a few of them are for um, six by eight papers that have been cut down, which I don't mind at all. I do have to do a better job at separating the filler cards versus the journaling cards. That is something that helps me a lot with my December daily cards, my the, the rest of the Project Life cards. So it's really easy because I use a lot of them and I don't have as many as I have with other companies. And I have a few square photos so I have to figure out cards that will have a little bit of a pattern but not something that I would miss behind a photo like the one I use for the meme of Parks and Recreation and Animal Crossing it only has like a few houses on the bottom so it was really easy to use that one that one with the file I am going to move that one I am not going to end up using those cards there. I had a bit of an issue like picking cards and then I realized that I could use this 3x8 cards. I just had to cut them to 3x4. Usually I would pick the 6x4 card for my title card or journaling but it's covering a photo. Uh, this is his this is the 2020 album and it's covering a photo where instead of having a yearbook, they had pictures of the kids with their names. So I don't want to put that information in the photos out there. So I'm using this filler card for the moment. And this is the cards that I picked. I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Air Adhesive as always. And it was as if you have seen any of my 2020 process videos after March, all I did was Animal Crossing. I uh, no shame about it. <laughs> it's a very entertaining game, and we played as a family, so it helped a lot. My daughters were obsessed with it. And this is just a meme that says, like, someone that is depressed can't do all of this like does this look like something someone depressed would do and I didn't want to add too much to the photo to avoid covering any of it or covering the little houses since the, ha since the houses were important to the card I used this 3x8 photo as my title card and I use the Sadie stamps to stamp weeks, I believe it's 25 and 26. And I use the colors. Actually, these are the ones that were from A Beautiful Mess. So I use Mojito, Peachy, no, Peaches. Yes, I use Mojito and Peaches. And I was looking for labels that I print and cut from Citrus Twist Kits. I have a bunch of sizes and I'm running out of a few of my favorite sizes. So I might have to print and cut a few more. So I decided to use this one so I can put the dates on one side and the next week on the other side on the right. And I'm using this roller stamp which I got from Amazon is a little bit smaller than the regular roller stamps I would love a giant one like the one from Studio Calico but I have the L Studio clear stamp so that's what is keeping me like I don't need it right now and I messed up the last one so I decided to start again in a fresh one and that is a really good advantage of doing this print and cut at home whenever I sit down to print and cut it it's a whole day affair 
you know, I have to create the files and and print and cut and it just takes a long time. So I make sure that I do all of those in the same day. I'm using this very ancient seven paper roller date stamp to stamp little stars between the dates. And I'm gonna put something between the dates to separate them. And I love these puffy stars. There's a bunch of puffy stickers that come with them. And the color went really well with the stripe uh, underneath. And I love to keep adding stuff to my cards. So yeah, I didn't need anything else, but I always enjoy that part. I've been using the tweezers a lot lately because that way I don't put my hands on the way and I can see exactly how it's going to look. And it's a lot easier for me. And I was feeling like I needed something on top, but at the end I left it like that. As always, I keep adding and adding, so sometimes I have to talk to myself and make myself stop. Uh, this is just a photo of my kids' hands. Like I took, they got like a little manicure, and I used a die from Lawn Fawn, which is a circle stitch die. It's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. I have a 6x8 album with my dies and I have magnetic sheets inside and I think that every company should follow Waffle Flower Suit and just make them like that but this uh, die cut in particular, this metal die, I have on my pegboard because I need it to, I need it out all the time. This circle die and also the little hearts and stars and this is a photo of a subscription box we get it's from Amazon and it's a it's called the Marvel's Collectors Corp box and we are huge Funko Pop collectors last week I shared in my Patreon like my basement and all you know I, I have billies full of them <laughs> so this box is just two more Funkos every month but everyone in my family loves Funkos and Marvel stuff so we love it I'm just layering some die cuts I love to layer um, my little word stickers or die cuts with the labels and I have so many again they never run out and this was a photo of my kid in a fort that we made during 2020 that fort had a few solid months out there and my kids love forts and my husband is an expert making them so that worked out perfect. And they were playing a little switch. So that enjoy and wine sticker was perfect. And again, yes, more. I am so sorry if you <laughs> are watching the 2020 albums and you're like, this is a lot of these little animals. And during this month, there was like a little, uh, not an otter. Wasn't an otter? I think it was an otter who would like give you advice or give you like a quote that was like supposed to be deep or weird and I took screenshots of my favorite ones this is a photo of my little one being silly I'm just going to add a little word sticker keeping it very simple and in this video I'm only sharing a 12 by 12 uh, which was the left side on the right I had a 6 by 12 but it had photos of my daughter's computer and you could see her classmates so I couldn't share that but I kept it 
also really simple. It was mostly photos, so I didn't do too much to it. I'm doing more layering with the washi tape. I always uh, select washi tape when I'm working with a collection and then I keep it in a binder ring or I use my trusty Rhino. I use the bottom part of these 3x8 um, card to write my journaling. And I forgot to add a flip through, but I do have pictures and close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye!